Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss in detail about the synthesis of 7-hydroxy-4-methyl coumarin. This video contains the basic principle involved in this synthesis as well as the reaction mechanisms, theoretical yield calculations, percent yield calculations and result. Let's begin with the first part which is nothing but the aim to synthesize 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarine from resorcinol. Basic principles involved in this synthesis are the preparation of 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarine is an example of the Pechman reaction, which consists of the interaction of a phenol with a beta keto ester in the presence of a condensing agent. Condensing agent like sulfuric acid or aluminum chloride or phosphorus oxychloride, phosphoric oxide or polyphosphoric acid. Here is the reaction. Resorcinol reacts with ethyl acetoacetate in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid gives 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarin with ethanol and water molecule. Let's begin with the first reaction mechanism of this synthesis. A possible mechanism may involve in the transfer of a proton from the acid catalyst to the carbonyl group of the beta ketonic ester. This results in a reduction of a electron density on the carbonyl carbon atom which then attacks the ortho position as does any electrophilic reagent and cyclization is completed by elimination of a water and ethanol. So here first of all to this ortho position there is an attack of uh, this ethyl acetoacetate uh, due to this carbon having a less electron density because this oxygen having a more electronegativity and it pulls the electron towards it therefore this carbon having a positive charge whereas to this ortho position it having a electron rich cloud. So this to this ortho position it will ethyl acid acid to get attract to form this product further there is a loss of water molecule and cyclization to form this 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarin. Procedure for this, you have to take 15 ml of concentrated H2SO4 in a flask. Then you have to keep this flask in a ice bath so as to it achieves the temperature of 4 to 5 degrees centigrade. Then take a, another beaker to which you have to take 3.5. 7 gram of resorcinol then to it add pure ethyl acetoacetate 4.4 ml of ethyl acetoacetate with constant stirring until a complete solution is achieved. Now this form solution you have to add slowly into sulfuric acid taking care that temperature of the reaction mixture should not rise above 10 degrees centigrade. Then after that addition you have to continue further for duration of 30 to 40 minutes. After that you have to pour these contents of the flask in a beaker containing a ice. You have to stir it vigorously so as to there is a formation of a crude 7-hydroxy-4-methyl-coumarin which soon gets separates out. After that you have to just filter off the crude 7-hydroxy-4-methyl-coumarin and you have to take this dry it and take its physical constant. So after taking weight which is around 4.5 gram which is your practical yield you have to note down this. Now next part is the calculation of theoretical yield. You have to first of all draw the structure of your starting material which is resorcinol and the product 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarin. Write down its molecular formula and calculate the molecular weight. 
So this indicate the 110 gram of resorcinol gives 176 gram of 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarine. So we have taken 3.7 gram of resorcinol. So how much it will gives the 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarine? So just make a cross multiplication. So 176 into 3.7 divided by 110. the value comes which is your theoretical yield so theoretical yield gives 5.92 g this indicate when you uh, we have taken 3.7 g of resorcinol so it gives 5.92 g of 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarin now we have the practical yield theoretical yield so depending upon that calculate the percent practical yield so practical yield is 4.5 g Theoretical yield is 5.92 gram. So percent practical yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. So put up the values and the value comes, which is your percent practical yield. So here it is 76.01 percent. So note down this one. So now about the result, you have to first of all give the heading of your product. 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarin then its structure its molecular formula molecular weight theoretical yield practical yield percent practical yield physical constant that is melting point here it uh, observe melting point is 190 degree and standard is 192 degree centigrade uses it is used as a fluorescent brightener so all these are about the in detail about synthesis of 7 hydroxy 4 methyl coumarin hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning